All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode of our Pokemon Moon Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope that you guys are having yourselves a great day today. Uh, if you missed the last episode, what we did was we uh, got up to Route 16, made our way through the Ula Ula Meadow, and uh, I think we left off right before Po Town. So today, we're going to be going into Po Town, hopefully finishing that out, clearing all Team Skull out of there. If you guys are excited, make sure you drop a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. If we could get like 300 likes for this episode, that'd be awesome. And if I could not drop my controller, that'd be even more awesome. I have to pick it up. All right, and uh, first things first, yes, the setup is a bit different. Um, I actually rearranged my entire room. My room in my apartment is not that big. It's not too small. Um, but basically right here, it, my bed used to be here. Like I would sleep, like the pillows would be here, right? Going that way. So I took my bed and I moved it over there which is where my desk was basically <laughs> the all the angle did was just move from that side of the room over here um but yeah this is what we're working with i think this fits better like so i can actually have a background it's not just like the alley by my bed and just this thing on the wall um so yeah i think this actually works out really really nice Use code SUPRA, by the way, 30% off. Code SUPRA can save you 30% right now up until the 24th of September. So if you guys want some G Fuel, now's your chance to save big. 30% um, like I said, ends the 24th. All right, cool. All that out of the way. Um, also, a lot of people were asking me about this light. I will figure out what it's called. I just don't really remember. I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but let's just do this, okay? Let's start this off with a team recap. Also, I feel like this area of my room is a little bit more echoey. Um, like, just when I talk, I notice the echo more. Uh, so, I think when I go home this weekend, I'm actually going home later today. So, I'm recording, like, two episodes of this to have up for the weekend. And um, I need to get some, like, audio panels from, like, Guitar Center, some absorption foam. Because I, it is so bad right here. I think it's because there's a wall literally behind the mic. Okay, I'm, I'm not stalling. I just got some stuff on my mind. Let's get this team recap out of the way. We have Hop the Gengar here, Frost Breath, Moon Blast, Thunder, and Ice Hammer. Then we have Hunter the Shiny Genesect, Workup, Shadow Ball, Diamond Storm, and Thousand Waves. Um, we're just gonna see if we can, I don't know. I feel like the other Genesect might've been better. I feel like it might have. It didn't have Stab, I don't think, but whatever. All right, then we have Dorian here. The Whimsicott with Side Strike, Parabolic Charge, Air Slash, and Acrobatics. Easily one of my favorite team members right now. Uh, but it's definitely close and running because we also have Sweaty the Vileplume here. Also with Side Strike, Power Whip, Burn Up, and Confuse Ray. Then we have Cables the Incineroar with Crunch, Thunder Fang, Close Combat, and Darkest Lariat. And last but not least, you can't count them out, okay? We have Hoodie, the Decidueye Revived, Resurrected with Drill Peck. Knock off Tailwind and Spirit Shackle. If you guys missed last episode, we ended up catching a Rowlet uh, in the Ula Ula Meadow. And we were like, you know what? We're not calling Dupes Claws. We're catching it right now. That's, ex that's exactly what we did. That is precisely what we did. So it's on the team. And <laughs> I totally even forgot about the idea for hoodie hoodies. So you guys want to see like some merch for hoodie? I could get that made like right now. We're almost at the end of the playthrough. I mean, we're not even on Pony Island yet. So I guess I can't say that, but... We're getting close, so I'd want to have it out as soon as possible, all right? So only tell me if you're interested if you'd actually, like, cop one, though, because I don't want to, like, tally incorrect votes. You know what I mean? It's all supply and demand. I'm in a micro-econ class right now. It's just taking over my brain. <laughs> What's the supply and demand curve of the... Who cares, okay? Who cares? Actually, a lot of people, a lot of people care, and it's actually really important. Anyways, Luscious Locks? No, it's just a normal Doug Trio. Which is weird. I thought you could only find, like, a Lonely Doug Trio here. So if it was, like, a normal one, it would get tran- I don't know. Uh, hold on. What I need to do right now, though, I'm trying to turn up the, um, brightness on my key light. I just needed to get picked up. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's just do the battle while this is happening. We should just start clicking Moonblast off rip. Like, that's just going to be the best thing to do with this mom. We finally got stabbed. We might as well go for it every single time. Like, look, that was not very effective. I know it's a Doug Trio, but it still almost did 
full. It almost killed it, basically. All right, there we go. All right, let me turn the brightness up just a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out what like the optimal uh, brightness setting is for this room. I think like that might be good. Yeah, like around like 50. I just don't want my face to get like too whiter than it already is. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much because at a point you just look you look like you're, you're an angel and you're just like glowing And I'm not I'm not trying to be dead like in my own video uh, Let's get this rage candy bar whatever works just so we can get the burn off. I don't care. You know what? Let's use hoodie. Let's use hoodie. It's only been How many episodes 20 probably I don't know So let's just let's see how he rolls Yo, what's up? You want to join Team Skull? Hold up. Is that a Z-Ring? For real? You're actually on the Island Challenge? All right, then. I get it. Came to laugh at us losers who gave up on the Island Challenge, huh? You showed us. Uh, you showed up so suddenly. You even got the nerve to laugh at me? Just doing shadow puppets. This is a wolf. Okay, that's a wolf. That's a dragon. I don't know any other shadow puppets. I... I, I don't know. I don't know how many individuals supposed to know. I don't know if there's like a regulation. <sighs> this is scary though. Like the Palo San. Okay, Reuniclus is more scary. Okay, it's not raining anymore. I guess. Um, let's just do that. Whose type do I know? I know Palo San's type. Okay, let's just kill the Palo San then, or try to. I have no idea what that move does. <laughs> what is Ion Deluge? Deluge? I have no idea. It has to be like some electric boosting move, like it boost electric type moves for however long or some stat. Pollen Puff? Isn't. Whoa, whoa. I think that's Rabombi's move, right? Yo, chill. <laughs> so it's Bug? Okay. I mean, it makes sense why it did that much. Um. Uh, yeah, this is a good idea. Come on, sweaty. And also, it's not gonna be. Okay, I guess I don't really know how Cloud Nine works because it's still raining in the battle. But is it just there's no added effects of rain? Is it my Pokemon too, as well as his? I don't know. I'm just gonna assume that I can go for burn up and it'll maybe be able to kill. I don't know. I mean, if it is a bug type, obviously. We're about to find out with this drill pick, I guess. There we go. I've never used this move. I've never seen the animation. Someone in the comments actually told me that burn up was introduced um, to be kind of like a, um, what's it called? Signature move of ho -Wo, I think they said. Cause Sacred Fire was is like not really cause like anti uh anti wow Entei can learn it. That's how someone pronounces that mon if they've never played Pokemon before. Entai. That's what they would say. I'm sorry, I have, <laughs> I have no idea where my mind was at. Not fair, I hate strong kids like you. I'm not letting you in. You just walk in? Oh yeah, you do. You just walk in and then you have to sneak around the little gate. All right, let's go. Let's get all sneaky spy. Seems to me you're trying to get into Po Town. You're sure you thought this through. You better be ready for thinking of coming in here. Ready to live as Team Skull or ready to take on Team Skull? You really think you're ready for that? I am. I guess everyone has their own reasons. I got my reasons too. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you in. If you don't make it back, okay. I'll be sure your remains at least. Yo, thank you. Nanu, what a guy. Such a great guy. I mean, other than the fact that he basically just let us walk into a potential like kidnapping potential <laughs> harm he should have just been like you know what <laughs> i'll handle this i mean we got this barricade do you really want to bother moving it out of the way just to take on one kid true true go home you're not getting in i find that somewhat difficult to believe i feel like i might be able to get in here because if I can't, then I'm pretty much unable to complete the game. So I'm just guessing. Maybe we should use Dorian. Dorian's level 41. 
Let's give Hoodie a little bit more attention. Just because it's been so long. It's a reunion with our fallen friend. Please. I'm just going to zoom through here. I don't want to waste too much time in Boat Town. Because I know it gets a little bit confusing. I remember the first time I played this, there's that puzzle in the mansion. And they asked you, like, um, three different questions that you have to, like, go around and figure out the answers for. Either way, I remember getting all the questions right on my first try. But there's a fourth question that you have to say no to. Because one of the rules is, like, Team Skull Grunts always say no. And they're like, didn't you know the rules? And you have to say no. And they're like, alright, cool. You're Team Skull. But I, I didn't read it. <laughs> I just kept clicking yes. And I was like, what the? Why isn't this working? Get him out. I'm just, I should speed it up. I I just forget that I have the speed up button sometimes. And I use it in the wrong spots. I use it when we're like in a stressful situation. Not when we're fighting a plusle. Like that's when you should <laughs> speed up. Also, I find it hard to... Oh no, he used grudge. That's why. I was going to say I found it hard to believe that we've used all of them. But whatever. Also, I'm pretty sure you can't use the Pokemon Center here. Or you can, but they, like, make you pay. Right? Like, you walk in, and it looks like a Pokemon Center. But Nurse Joy is, like, a Team Skull Grunt. I don't know. That's why I don't really want to go in there. We'll just leave the unknown as the unknown. We don't need to, we don't need to be our, uh, what is it called? Professor Investigator. Professor, um, wait, what's this? It looks like the bolt badge from black and white. But I don't think it is. Simi as that would just be kind of random. I don't know. Also, it is definitely sick time of the year. It is sick boy season right now. Hot girl summer's over. It is sick boy season. I know you guys hear the sniffles. <laughs> um Yeah, literally all my friends are sick. It's me, all my friends. Um <laughs> Hopefully it'll go away. Usually when like this part of the year comes and it's just like it's like this outside. Like this is about to happen. It's about to get all gloomy. Not really cold, but like it's like fall. That's when I just get so sick all the time. It's a, might not even be a sickness. It's just constant allergies. And so it just seems like I'm sick. But I don't know. Just pop a Zyrtec and it should be all right. Should be all right. All right. Zyrtec honestly saved my life. In middle school baseball I don't think I would have survived I, I got out one of the games right we're like I finished a game I finished one of the games and as I was leaving I just remember my eyes getting so swollen just because this was before like I knew I was allergic to so many things in the environment I'm only not allergic to um, not trees no it's grass and dogs those are the only things in the environment that I'm not aller uh, allergic to not allergic to any foods but everything 48 out of 50 things in the environment yep just keep me away from those <laughs> I literally walk out snies and just is like snot <laughs> okay that's gross that doesn't really happen but you know what I mean okay what is this move whoa spectral <gasps> Oh, that's Marsh Shadow's move, right? That's Marsh Shadow's. It has to be. But here's a Mimikyu. We're gonna see an Eevee Q. Um. It was normal ghost. I don't think I have a dark move. Or was it? Yeah, it was normal ghost. I can't remember. Who should we go out into? Why not? Let's try it. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna have disc guys, of course, so. First attack won't do anything. Oh! You don't have. Sucks to be you, man. I am. I am very sorry. No disguise? That's like this one Pokemon's gimmick. That's one of the things that makes it so good, because you can run like weakness policy and you get that free boost without even taking any damage. 
and Kelder. Um, let's go to Cables. Why not? Let's get jumping. Ooh, that should be his phrase. Cables. Let's get jumping. That actually, that, that sounds more of like an auto repair company. And that's their, like, advertisement during a MLB baseball game. Jump start your cables right now. Let's get jumping. Come on in to Dawn's Auto Shop and get yourself a free jump for just $14.99. Not $15, $14.99. Something like that. I don't know. I don't really know where that bit was going. I just... That's what... It, come get your cables jumped, man. Come get jumped. Like I said, I'm not trying to take on, like... Ideally, I'm not trying to take on any of these trainers, but... I don't want to take them all on. I just want to... Yeah, I think you just have to get over here because there's like the refrigerator room and then you go into the refrigerator and you read one of the things Honestly, I don't even need to do that. I already know all the answers. What? I could just oh well Whatever, I know there is a couple good items that you can find here Okay, wait, let's just, let's see this So he's plus two hold on He's plus two that means we just fully take the, we fully take the stab boots. I gotta blow my nose, I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! Oh hell yeah. Woo! I wasn't lying, I've never lied. I've never lied once. So it does take the stab boots, it isn't just like copy it and like we have it as well. Really? I just got outplayed. That was my initial thought. Like, oh, okay. It's just gonna copy the stab boost. But it actually steals it. I mean, that makes sense. It's called Spectral Thief. But <laughs> I guess I didn't really think that part through. All right, whatever. Full course. It's got way too much seasoning. That's what I'm saying, bro. I am well seasoned. All times of the year. All four seasons. What's this? Heal powder? This is what you're supposed to look at. Tapu Coco. Yeah, the answers don't change. Okay, let's just go upstairs. Avoid all these people. Hello, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You guys should probably take better care of your house, though. This looks like a frat house. <laughs> Honestly? Holy crap! <laughs> this literally looks like a frat house. This is just disgusting. Not anything about, like, frats are fine, just the, everyone knows frat house, like, the ones that were the people throw down and there's parties, those houses are disgusting. Obviously, there's so many people in there all the time. It's impossible to keep it clean. That's what, that's exactly what this looks like. Because it's like, kind, kind of looks like a hotel at the same time. But it's not. Anyways, let's do this. Beat up. Galissapod, boom, Tapu Coco. And then you have to say no? Are you sure about that? No. You know all Master Guzma's favorite things and you even know what to, or even knew to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, bonehead. Of course I am. Of course I am. So now it's time, this is where we take on Guzma, straight up, right? <gasps> There's a Murkrow over there. Why can't you go, aw. Um, I think she can turn around and see you. Or does she challenge you from up top of the roof? I don't know. Let's just go take these dudes on. Or not. Uh, I thought it would be like a fight immediately, but... Okay. What up, man? The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. What's up, man? I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm not here for you. No bone to pick with me, huh? And it's for Young Goose, I guess. How sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> Seriously though, like, I could think of like 20 more Pokemon that you could have stolen. You can just go to Route 1 and get, it has a 100% catch rate. That is one of the easiest Pokemon to catch in this game. You don't need to steal one from a little girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's so many other Pokemon. Oh well. Low standard thieves. Well, let's run it. Let's run it, Guzma. I'm supposed to be mad at you, so I'm mad. Let's put put them up, bro. Put them up. Let's run it. Also, thank you guys so much uh, to the people who came out to the Pokemon Bidoof uh, version stream. That was really, really fun. Uh, it was just kind of like a fun little random game to just pull out and stream. I don't know. I was thinking about maybe streaming again today. You guys will see this video today, so it's like in real time. I'm recording this Friday. Y'all see it Friday. Um, but after this, I want to record another one. Um, another episode of this. And then after, if I can fit in a stream, I will. Uh, I don't know. So just be on the lookout for that, okay? Be on the lookout for a stream later. I will follow my Twitter, guys. The best way to stay updated with me is to follow my Twitter. I tweet out updates, what's going on the channel, what you'll see, uh, promotions, like when the G Fuel Co. goes 30, uh, when the merch goes 35% off. Uh, what else do I tweet? I tweet um, insightful, poetic quotes from, uh, I don't know. Oh wait. I forgot that this mod hits like a, I don't even know how to describe it. What type is it? We fought it before. Bug Dark. Let's go here. As long as he, d go for first impression, that'd be fine. Or Leech Life. Oh my God, sweaty, you, you, you lord. You absolute genius. You're so smart. Holy crap. All right, let's burn it. Burn it, yeah. English, let's burn this fool. Let's go. That did so much damage. Holy crap. And all it does is make us lose the fighting type, or fire type. There's, that's like the only drawback, right? Guzma, what is wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid now. Thanks, dude. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. All right. Also, this like room is really oddly placed. Like, who puts their bed like at an angle? Like usually, someone would put it like all the way against the wall. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's an Easter egg if you sit on here though. Yeah, there he is. Excuse me, but huh? What? You're not the boss. What's the deal? You're not the boss of me. Huh. See, man, is that the Playboy Bunny? <laughs> I see how we're getting down, Team Skull. Okay, okay. That's what this could be. This is just the Playboy Mansion. That would that'd actually make a lot more sense than the frat house. <laughs> I could totally see it. All right, well. I'm pretty sure that's all I want to do in Poe Town. There may be like a TM or something that we missed, but with our luck, even if it's a good TM, I know no one's gonna be able to use it, okay? I know that's a pretty bad attitude, um, because you, you don't know what you don't know. Seems pretty straightforward, but it's true. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. I think I meant to say don't knock it till you try it, but I don't know if that makes sense either. Uncle Nanu, and here comes the noise again. Oh yeah, I forgot how much he hates her. <laughs> he hates his, is this like his granddaughter or his daughter? I think it's his granddaughter. I'm so sorry, you must have been so scared. Thanks Super, really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. What else do you stay, uh, stay here for if you're not putting a stop to Team Skull shenanigans? Rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull after all. That's what you say, but it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? 
You can depend on the Aether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts, but you stay here to look out for them. Come on, young goose. Let's get you back to the Aether House. Also, the slides. Nanny with the slides in the rain. I see you, bro. He said, I want my feet moist. I want my feet moisturized. Pokemon tuck, tuck, uh, tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. Bro, you're so deep. Oh my god, Nanny was a tumbler. Oh, it is so evident. Nanny, what are you doing, bro? What happened? Uh, so we go back here, Tapu Village. I think we just report back to the Aether House. All right, cool. So let's heal, and I think we're also gonna wrap it up for today. We're at about 30 minutes, so you know what? We're just gonna call it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. 300 likes is the goal if we get hit that. That'd be, that'd just be scrumptious. That'd be, mwah. Uh, but yeah, next time I guess we'll be heading over there. Finishing up the stuff with Acerola. Headed to Pony Island. I or no, take it on Nanu, right? Cool. Uh, use code SUPRA, 30% off your entire order at G Fuel. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Peace. And uh, have a good rest of your Friday.